Yo. Welcome to another Synfig tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to use brushes in Synfig. Okay, and um, I created 10 brushes um, while doing this tutorial. So if you want to download these brushes, you can head over to my Patreon page. The link is in the description below if you're interested. Um, also, I'll have a video showing how to, cr to create a brush, right? Now, a brush can be pretty much anything. It can be any image whether it has a transparent background or, um, or not, okay? Well, anyway, let's get started with this tutorial. So I'll be using um, the brushes that I created to demonstrate. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is create a path for my brush to, to follow. So, I mean, we can create something as simple as just two points using the spline tool and go to file and then we want to import the brush. So here we see my brushes. So I'm just going to select maybe the first one and click import. And I want to scale this down now. Okay. By the way, the quality of the brush depends on how, um, how big you make the brush. But at the end of the day, you'll scale it down in Synfig anyway, so it doesn't really much matter that much. But uh, keep in mind that you know the quality does depend on the uh, the size or the resolution. Um, okay, so with my brush imported, what I'm going to do is just to select the both of these layers, and I'm going to be linking the brush to the spline. So with the both of them selected, click on the origin point for the brush and then right click on the spline and click link to spline. Okay, and I'm gonna place both of these in a folder. And so I'm gonna open up that folder and what I'm, the next thing is to create a duplicate layer. So right click, new layer, other, duplicate. All right, and with the duplicate layer selected, come over into the properties and open up the indexed index here and in the from section, you want to change that to zero. And where it says two, you want to change that to one. And the step, this is very important because this will tell you by how much um, the brush will be, the brush stroke will be duplicated. And the lower you go, the more, the lower the value, the more um, of the stroke that you'll see. The, the, well, the more copies of the brush that you'll see. All right. So, um, I would recommend not going to zero at all because I mean, Synfig may freeze because it will, you know, use a lot of resources. So let us start off by using maybe 0 0.02. Enter. All right. So that's what I'm going to start off with. Um, so with that now, that value now added, click on the brush. And inside of the properties of the brush, you want to go to transformation, open up that section there, and Click on offset, open up the, the list for the offset. So let me just um, bring this up so you can see it clearer. And then where it says amount, you want to click on that. And then go into the library, click on the library icon here, and then click on the value based nodes here, open up that list, and then you'll see the duplicate. By the way, this duplicate, um, it comes along with the duplicate layer. So whenever you create a duplicate layer, it will automatically add um, a value node in the library, all right? So with that selected, we want to make sure that we're on our brush. Let me go back to the offset here and amount. So with the both of these selected, I want to come here and right click the amount and click on connect. Once I connect, you'll see the brush being duplicated all over and it's basically following the stroke. So you can turn off the, um, the path and you can actually move the brush strokes like so. Now, the, the closer the points are to each other, I mean, the closer the um, the strokes will be, right? But if you stretch this out, you'll see that um, you'll start seeing what the the actual brush looks like, right? Because all it's doing is duplicating that one single image all over um, to fit the spline that we have here, all right? Um, now, this is pretty cool because you can right click and you can insert a new point and you can control the the curve like so right um now one thing you want to do is go back to the brush go back to transformation and where it says angle you want to open that up 
and go to amount make sure that duplicate is, is selected in the library again and you want to right click on this amount and click connect right that way the, the strokes follow the contours of the spline all right so the first one we did was offset amount and angle amount okay so you want to make sure that you um connect the both of those right uh, so this is pretty cool. Uh, so if I should click on duplicate, we can go back to the step value and we can see what is happening here. So if I should change this to maybe 0.2, we can see that all it's doing is duplicating that one stroke all over the path. Okay. And the lower you bring the value, the more duplicates you get. Okay. And uh, I'm going to bring it back to 0 0.02 because I like that right and the cool thing is uh we can switch out our brushes very easily so if i click on the brush here and open up this layer click on the layer within that folder and come over to file name here we can just search for our brushes here so let me search for one of those brushes so let, let us try brush two click load and we can see it updates that is looking really cool and again you can you know manipulate the path uh, so let's let's actually try out each of these brushes so i'm gonna change to brush three let's see what brush three looks like all right and that looks cool and brush four load all right, and this is actually my favorite brush of them all. I love this brush, all right? So yeah, and uh, you can also remove points as well as you can insert them. Okay, so yeah, let's continue showing off the brushes. So this is four, let me go to five. All right, so this is what five looks like. And let us check out number six. Recent six, where's that six? Load. All right, so this is looking pretty cool and we're almost done number seven. Yo, come on in. All right, uh, now for some of these brushes, you'll have to go back to the duplicate and re reduce the step or well, or add to the step. So let me go here and click on maybe eight, point eight, or maybe point two. Hmm. Let me go lower point one. All right, so that is looking okay. All right. So yeah. Uh. So which one are we on? We are uh, on. This is what, eight? Was this eight? I think it was eight. All right, so let's check out nine. And nine is basically just a simple grass brush. So if you want to, you know, create grass and then duplicate them all over the place, then this one is for you. And again, you can insert points and do whatever um, shape you want. Okay, um, so let's look at, well, I hope I didn't miss one, but you know, the brushes are on my Patreon if you need it. Uh, load, and this is the final brush. Oh, I know I missed one. So I have a chain brush. I don't remember which number that is. That is number eight, okay. So let's just check out number eight real quick. Number eight, so go back to recent. Eight, where's that, where's that eight brush? Do -do 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 -do. I'm not seeing it in the list here, so go back to desktop, go back to this folder, seeing fake brushes, eight load. Okay, so this is what the chain brush looks like, right? Looks like a chain. All right. And remember you can add um you can add more as needed, right? Increase the value of the, the duplicates as necessary so yeah so that's how you would go and use brushes in synfig now if you want to use two brushes two or more brushes right um what's important is that you have to change you have to rename the duplicate node here 
okay so if i should let's say i should create another stroke right and i want to use another brush so let's create another stroke and um, import a new brush import just import a brush real quick all right bring this down and let's say i right click new layer other and duplicate you will get a, an error okay saying that the name already exists so i recommend well it's not really a, well it is a recommendation i recommend renaming the the nodes that you have here so let's rename this to maybe brush one the name can be whatever you want um, brush one and this does not need to be renamed but for the sake of um, us not getting confused let's ch oops let's change the name as well to brush one brush underscore one all right so they both have the same names so if you want to use another brush now it's very easy so once you add the duplicate you won't get that error okay and then you can pretty much go in and do the same thing that we did before to use this brush you can rename the folders as well so you don't get confused but um i'm just gonna go and do this real quick so you can see that um everything is working properly so i'm just gonna go here from um change that to zero change this to one change this to 0.02 and um go to the brush layer here transform offset uh amount and now once you're 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 adding more brushes it's very important that you click on the correct um node in the library so we know that the new one is duplicate right so make sure that duplicate is selected and not brush one right that is very important because this is referencing to the second as uh, is referring to the second brush so you want to make sure that that is selected so when you go to offset and amount and you you make sure that that is selected and then select amount you want to right click and then click on connect and it will connect itself to that particular um that particular stroke right there all right so keep that in mind all right so that's how you'd use two or more brushes um it will slow down depending on how much duplicates you have so you you know you want to go go ahead and um me like mess around with the with different values but i recommend do not go to zero in the it do not again do not change the step to zero that's what i recommend you can to see what it does but um your, your synfig will more than likely freeze or if it doesn't freeze it will start moving slowly because you'll be creating a lot of duplicates okay so keep that in mind so yeah again these brushes are available on my patreon if you're interested um and yeah so hope you learned how to use brushes in synfig hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i will see you in the next one Yo. Yo.